So this is my principle when it comes to playing Blitz games. I don't think it's always about playing the best moves. You know, you should just play what comes to mind first. Any decent move, even second choice, third choice. In most cases, you can still survive just by playing second choice or third choice moves. You don't have to always play the best moves because that might consume a lot of time and ultimately make you lose. So our next opponent's name is what? Queen Faker. I think I'm going to play Ninzo Indian. Oh, no, I can't. So you just play the Troposki attack. Um, What must I play? Um, I think let's go with the Knight E4 variation. Okay, knight f6. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so he's played this variation. Uh, he sacrificed a pawn for development. Uh, for now, it seems like he's got. Uh, He's managed to develop three big pieces. One, two, three, compared to my one. But is it enough to win the game? Uh, we shall see. Okay. He plays queen e2. He probably wants to uh, probably wants to do long castles. Okay. So uh, I think we are going to play bishop b4, such that if he castles, then we can capture the knight, and that's exposing the king. Okay, he's still castle though. This guy is brave. Alright, so what do we have here? Got an exposed position. So I'm thinking maybe we should play queen e7. Alright. I don't want to castle right away. Um, maybe we should just play queen e7. With that threat right there of checking, followed by knight d5 or followed by queen takes c3, depending on what he plays. Okay, so the guy played king b1. Let us play knight to d5. Okay, so threatening and and the pawn. So he plays queen to I mean bishop to d2. I think let us put more pressure on the pawn. Okay, so he's defending. Um, so knight here, threatening knight a4, you know, thirty um, then queen checkmate there. So he played bishop b2, we need to move our queen back. But to which place? Mm, okay, 
Let's not waste time. Let's go back to Queen E7. Right. So I'm starting to have second thoughts here. Um, whether to steal castle on the king side, or maybe um, to move to the queen side. All right. So still have one more move to decide. King side or queen side. So what principle do we use here? We cut the board in half, like this. And we, we count the number of big pieces that white has on the right side and on the left side. So here we can see that he's got one, two, three big pieces on the king's side and is one, two, three on the queen's side. Whereas we have one, two, three, four on the queen's side, which means he has three pieces on the queen side against our four pieces on the queen side. That means it's safer to castle queen side. Okay, I saw that coming. Um, so he plays uh, knight to d2. Uh, if I play knight a5, then he's got c4. Yeah, I would like to play knight a5. If, uh, if he pushes pawn to c4 um, like that, then we have queen to b4. So he plays rook to okay. Let's move back. Every move must be a threat. Okay, so queen is threatening h2. Okay, plays knight b3. I think let us go for the pawn. It's risky though. Okay, let's... he's probably thinking of playing. Not a5, okay, so he plays queen 2, f3, so let's play rook f8, defending the pawn on f7, we don't have much time here, so he plays bishop f4, Alright, so check. I think not, maybe not d5 is better. Okay, so he wants to exchange. Losing a piece. Oh, okay. He's panicking now. He's panicking, he's panicking. Oh, unbelievable. Losing. Okay, he resigns. Let us play next game. Quite an interesting game it was.
Remember, I should try 3 plus 2. So, we're playing and leave. Let's capture. Attack. Pawn to d4. So, this is standard. This is called the center counter. And now we have h3, g4. I got knight e5. This is all book. Uh, Bishop of four. Castles. So I'm thinking of playing d5 here, maybe just to try to expose the king. Um, kind of like my position though. I think I have very good chances of winning this game. His king is still not castled. Alright, so the guy plays castles. And uh, like I always tell my students, long castle is not complete till you play king b1. So let us move our monarch out of the way. Or he plays f6. Interesting. Alright, so now he plays e5. Let's move our bishop back. Now I'm thinking of playing knight c5 here, followed by e6. He's just played knight d7 to prevent that. Let us break uh, the structure, his structure on the queen side. Now he's most likely going to push this pawn. And he did. Here, I know he wants to move e4, but let him go ahead with it. And we're just going to push here. Like I said again, this might not be the best move, but could be the second best or third choice, but it's it's like intuitive. I just played it. Like now h6, I'm, I'm playing queen h5, threatening to capture with my bishop uh, on h6. Okay, queen a2. Can I play e4? Then he has to play e4. And then maybe I play knight f4. And knight e6. I still like my position better. Go. Okay. I have no idea what this guy is threatening. So I'm still gonna I'm just gonna go with the um, 96. Okay, then we'll play knight to d4, it's attacking the pawn on f5. It's probably gonna play bishop uh, knight d6, and then I'll still play bishop d6, bishop f4, sorry. Still putting the pressure on f5 after bishop captures. Then we have knight takes f5. Alright, so he played knight, takes d5. Could be winning here. Okay. So yeah, my next move here would be to play uh, my knight back to e6. Now we're threatening knight captures h6, followed by pawn to g7. This is clearly winning for white. All right, and I also have knight e7 check. Followed by capturing the rook. Um, I think white is much, much better in this position. So he plays, uh, what a play? He played rook to e8. Check. Check. 
check i think i like it let's leave it like this let's play night Mm. Might have missed a good move there. I don't know. So let's play a rook. Mm. F3. This king is, is too exposed here. Check. <laughs> this guy. Okay. Let's see. I'm sure uh, I missed the win earlier on this game. Um, so if I oh oh look at me now, <laughs> woo! Okay, I think he's gonna resign. Next move. This is lost. So lost. What? Still playing? Okay, we won the game. Let's play another one. Okay, guys, this is gonna be my last game for the day. Against the Babello. Think let us go with the Ryan Lopez here. Okay, nothing special here. It's a uh, standard Ralopez moves. Okay, I don't like exchanging uh, my bishop. I think my bishop is better than um, uh, their bishop here, so I'd like to keep my bishop. Well, at least for now, so knight. Okay, so now that we have kind of completed our Ray Lopez, I normally look at the center so that I can decide uh, what strategy to take here. So this center here is called a fixed center. And what do we do in a fixed center? We occupy squares uh, that are supported by the pawn in the center. So applying that principle, I'm going to play knight f5. Okay, he doesn't want to capture. Okay. Let him capture if he wants to. I'm going to play knight h2 followed by queen f3. He captures on b3. Okay, he plays d5. Still, I play queen. 3.
okay he plays knight uh h7 now i'm thinking of playing knight um i think i'm playing knight g4 and then after knight g5 i play a simple queen um queen g3 let's see let's just try it hmm that doesn't look right <laughs> no just doesn't look right it just does not look right okay oh, oh sorry sorry i mean let me ask to take back really i wanted i wanted to say uh, uh, uh no man this is a mouse slip yes thank you i meant bishop captures the pawn now how do we continue check this doesn't look right man just does not look right okay but king g7 i think is forced here yeah ah oh, check okay i'll play rook d1 let's play a quiet move in the middle of a stone i still think there was something that position i might have played the wrong one maybe i should have started with the knight not capturing g7 i don't know i'll take a look at it later it's not easy to find moves in this position the king is too exposed all right I had a feeling you would play something like that. Okay, see? Uh oh. Oh well. What's happening here? Yeah, we don't have much time, so let me just move the king away. Knight g5, queen e2. Mm. All right. Knight g5, queen e2. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Knight g5, queen e2. Okay, so the guy plays knight f4. Not sure about this move. Uh, I'm not sure about this move. Knight a6. Maybe then d4. This one is complicated now, but let me just play d4. It doesn't have much time. I oh, will play 3 plus 2. Is it 3 plus 2? Guys? Yeah, we play three plus two. Oh. Yeah. This position okay. Still, I still think this guy survived. 
Mm. We actually have a better playable position here. He's not finding it easy to find moves here. Not easy at all. Mm -hmm. It's not easy. Now I'm threatening F4. Four seconds. Let's go. F4 is not good anymore. Uh, let's start with A4. Look, D3. I don't see what he's threatening, so let's just play G3, F4. Okay, I think he's, he's losing. Yes. Oh, what a game. What a game, what a game. Alright guys, thank you so much. That's all we had for today. Check you out later.